Hello Sagittarius and welcome to your October tarot forecast. We have a lot going on in October. We have the Aries full moon on the 1st, the Taurus full moon on the 31st, and we also have Mercury going retrograde on the 13th, and we have the Sun moving into Scorpio on the 22nd. So this is definitely a month of transformation. The energies may get a little intense um, internally as well as externally. In in the world all right but it's time for major transformation especially around uh, relationships so let's uh, pull some cards and get started on your reading and see what's happening for you and I will pull cards specifically for each full moon and uh, mercury retrograde but let's see what spirits are working the strongest with you guys in October Okay, so the Hunter of Honor. This is an Earth Spirit that's coming in really, really strong, Sagittarius, that wants to help you manifest something that you desire, okay? This is uh, some sort of advancement, goal, step forward, and this guide wants to come in and give you um, how to walk the line, how to execute your energy perfectly and precisely, how to do everything exactly right, bring your attention to every single little detail okay so you've got a little helper on your side in the spirit guide in October like giving you answers um, giving you little cheats okay so really pay attention to your intuitive promptings to random thoughts to signs and synchronicities because you've got a helper on your side all right so let's see what else we have okay so you've got ancestors coming through so Sagittarius, so there are passed on loved ones and ancestors coming in quite strongly in October to assist you and break you free of any sort of um, thinking or perception or untruth that's holding you back or preventing you from moving forward in any capacity. Or this could be some truths and some enlightenment around um, certain people and situations. And you know, it, illusion doesn't always have to mean negative, like you're being being lied to and, and screwed over it could be sometimes where we are telling ourselves a lie like we're not good enough we're not this we're not that will this will never happen I don't deserve this and it's a false city that we're programming into ourselves and this uh, loved one these ancestors want to help you with that they want to bring utter truth and clarity for you Sagittarius because um, I feel this kind of holds you back from something you've been wanting to really manifest and you got your little helper coming in as well so let's um let's pull a card for overall energy for Sagittarius harmony as I create I will share harmony divine with love and care. Oh, look at that, Sagittarius. This here, this harmony I create, I will share. This is this guide and your loved ones coming in, really having your back, Sagittarius. Oh my gosh, do not discount um, random thoughts that pop in your head, different gut feelings that you have, intuitive promptings. Go here, do this, say that, look here, you know, just whatever it is really absorb it and if you can't connect the dots that's okay just make a mental note because man these spirits coming in to bring harmony to bring balance to your energy so that you can just flow so that you could come into your manifestation so that you could come into your personal truth very very nice let's pull you some tarot Ace of Pentacles, Manifestation, Sagittarius, nice. 
after trying and feeling like you're spinning your wheels. Yes, Six of Cups, Soulmate Energy, and Page of Pentacles. All right, so Sagittarius, let's uh, look at this first row. Okay, so here in the Seven of Pentacles, this is the illusion that your loved ones want to help you with. Um, that you you can't do something, um, your hands are tied, there's no way, um, you know, it's different for all of you, but it's it's coming in, it's going to happen, okay? This spirit guide right here, remember, is your helper to help you balance your energy, giving you the answers, do this, say this, think this, try this, all right? Because boom, it's time. It is time, Sagittarius. For your manifestation that you soul, soul that you so desire. Some of you, this is definitely like money based, materially, uh, material based. Okay, and um, <clears throat> where you've been working hard, feeling like you're not getting anywhere. Boom! Here it is. Okay, but for others of you, um, this could definitely be around a relationship. Okay. A relationship um, a relationship of the past for some of you with the six of cups and uh, you know we do have mercury retro mercury going retrograde and this could absolutely be Sagittarius where you and this person are having a reconciliation and because we have so much Pentacles um, you know this is a soulmate to you but this could be like a friend or a family member that we've lost touch with. And now the universe is reuniting, bringing you back together. And there's great purpose in this. There's, there's a second chance. There's a second go round. Okay. Um, some of you, Sagittarius, there's a new soulmate coming into your life in the month of October. This could be a new friend, a new co-worker, um, a new romance. For some of you but this is a soulmate and you guys are just gonna um, click instantly and you're meant to have a long journey with each other okay and lastly um, with this six of cups and this page of Pentacles um, some of you there may be a new um, like young person child or baby who is coming into your world um, coming into your family here all right and uh, this is a soulmate to you whether this is like directly connected to um, you know in your own personal immediate family or um, you know further extended out in your family this um, young person because so for some of you I feel like maybe this could be like um, a child that's attached to like uh, it, like say you have a grown this is just an example say you have a grown son and he's he's has recently started dating somebody new she may have a child okay and um, this child like you're gonna meet them and you're gonna feel like this is a soulmate okay like just a perfect fit in your family um, maybe some of you are, are trying to adopt and it's like it's finally gonna go through for you in the month of October okay there's definitely an emphasis around like um, a new addition to the family like young energy to the family and it's a soulmate to you somehow in some way however that may resonate okay for others of you this is a new um, like friend or romance coming in and potentially reconnection with the six of cups but um, you know if this is a reconnection where it couldn't work in the past the time is now like it could actually work this time around okay and for a new connection um, you know you guys have a long journey with each other and then others of you material manifestation coming in and the six of cups to me is the representation of this helper guide and your ancestors loved ones coming in to help you finally make this manifest this material whatever this is for you personally Okay, Two of Swords, you don't see it coming. Yeah, I'm not surprised because we do have that Seven of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles, Page of Cups, there's another page. So you got two twos and two pages, and look at that, two aces. 
Yes, um, you know, now that we have this uh, Ace of Cups out next to this Page of Cups, you know, we do have the sun moving into the sign of Scorpio on the 22nd. So this is absolutely like some of you are welcoming a new baby, a new addition to the family um, as we enter Scorpio season. Okay, others of you, um, you know, this is, look at this beautiful connection coming in. And I think some of you have two new connections coming in, maybe one from the past and then a new connection. And again, this could be friend or romance because you got two aces and um, two pages and the pages match the aces okay and then you got two twos going on and we know with the six of cups that's soulmate energy and for some of you it's of the past so very strong earth or water energy coming in so Taurus Virgo Capricorn Cancer Scorpio Pisces okay but uh, with these two aces um, if this is like a new connection, it's beautiful. It's soul based. You guys have a long journey ahead. If this is returning connections, it's definitely filled with beautiful intention. Okay. I'm sorry. You know, please forgive me. I want to reconnect with you and they mean it. Okay. Absolutely. And, um, you know, others of you, this could be where you're finally getting that uh, material manifestation, like you're starting a new job, and boom, you have this beautiful new connection coming in. And maybe some of you could be um, welcoming like a set of twins into the family, okay? Um, or uh, maybe um, there's a couple people getting engaged in your family or announcing a pregnancy in your family because there is so much new energy here, uh, Sagittarius, I can't get over it. And with the two twos coming out, it feels like there's two things going on for you. And, <clears throat> you know, we do have the Aries full moon at the start of the month, right? which full moons always bring manifestation. And then we have the Taurus full moon uh, on the 31st of the month. So, you know, two manifestations happening for Sagittarius, um, physical, material wealth, like money increase, gift, um, new job, elevation and job, gifts coming your way, new connection coming in, um, new addition to the family, returning connection. So there's a lot of blessings for Sagittarius in the month of October and now this is general so obviously all of what I said will not apply but man um, new connection returning connection you are absolutely soulmates with this person 100% soulmates with this person Sagittarius okay and uh, this manifestation um, you know in the material sense it's finally happening now it's like the time is right for it to happen now so let's, uh, let's pull a card for Aries full moon, Taurus full moon, and Mercury retrograde. You are so blessed in October, Sagittarius. Beautiful time for you. Oh yeah, look at that fertility um, coming in with this Aries full moon. And that goes back to these younger energies, but also um, it's time for manifestation. Your energy's right. The astrology externally for you is right. Um, you know, new connections, returning connections. It, there's a, a lot of uh, like fertile energy, long-term longevity, Taurus full moon. We have answers. So deep, deep understanding coming to you by the end of October and your loved ones, ancestors helping with that. And Mercury retrograde is um, finding, you're finding the truth. You're finding where you belong. You're finding love. You're finding connection. You're finding manifestation. You're finding money. Okay. And you see the butterflies there. The sun is moving into Scorpio on the 22nd. That's eighth house energy. That is all all about change and transformation Sagittarius so any connections returning to you from the past they are going to be a whole different ball game this time around okay with these two aces and these two pages it's all new energy and you may kind of go back and forth but spirits letting you know you know it's ultimately your choice 
but it's all new energy and you're going to see things from a much different perspective about these people. New connections coming in. You may be hesitant, you may be weary because of, you know, things of the past and how and just like how well you're clicking and and everything and this is, you know, you coming into the truth and the understanding like you and this person or you and these new people are soulmates and there is like a long path ahead of you. Some of you um, definitely welcoming some additions to the family or maybe um, if you do not, if you can make babies and you don't want to make babies, Sagittarius, take precaution in October. We got two aces. We got two pages plus fertility. Okay, so it's like maybe there's two new babies um, come into the family in October. Or again, that situation where like somebody's dating somebody, maybe they have two children. And it's just like you will absolutely adore these children. Okay, how whatever type of connection or relationship you have with them. All right, let's pull you some advice. Earth. Ask the element of earth for grounding, stability, and strength in times of chaos. So this to me, because you got that harmony, you've got this little helper coming in, you've got your loved ones, ancestors bringing you truth. It's like your energies are finally grounding and something's manifesting here. Um, some of you, new additions to the family being born. And, you know, we got two aces. Um, so maybe because we got maybe some of you this could be on the first or the second the sixth or the seventh okay um, for these like new additions or this manifestation coming into your world or these reconnection it's like the first uh, half of October is very very um, ripe for that so manifestation happening for Sagittarius feeling very very blessed finding the truth finding harmony finding balance feeling good feeling loved Sagittarius and some of these connections that left you hanging in the past that are returning it's like you finally get the answer or these new connections coming into your life um, it's just such a relief off your heart and, and you feel in such a good space that you're able to see things about past connections from a different perspective okay but uh, something definitely physically manifesting and then um, new love new connection coming in so those are your messages Sagittarius I am sending you lots of love and light take care